everyone so in this video I am going to explain the main definition of the complete sufficient statistics with some detailed examples so let's consider the definition of the complete sufficient statistics so let's say that we have a statistic T which has this uh, a family of probability uh, distribution functions and we say that this uh, family of uh, probability distributions is complete if it satisfies these two conditions. The first condition is that there is a function of this uh, statistic where the expectation of that function is zero uh, for all theta that implies that a probability of uh, g of t equal to 0 is 1 for all theta. So actually these two uh, conditions are interconnected and in my next uh, slide I am going to show you uh, the intuition behind this. So if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that this uh, family of probability distributions is complete. Equivalently, we can say that this uh, statistic uh, T of X is a complete sufficient statistic. So the main, main intuition behind this uh, definition is as follows. So let's say that there is a, a, f uh, there is a function of this uh, statistic such that this expectation is equal to zero. So uh, this expectation is equal to zero if this expectation is equal to zero only because this uh, function is equal to zero identically for all the values of theta if that is the case then we can say that this t of x is a complete sufficient statistic uh, this is uh, because uh, there are situations that this expectation is uh, equal to zero not because this uh, function is equal to zero for all the values of theta. So we will uh, discuss a couple of examples like that. So the one important thing is that this uh, completeness is a property of the uh, family of probability distributions. Uh, not for a particular distribution and there are uh, mainly two methods to find the complete sufficient statistics the first method is based on the definition and the uh, second one is based on the property of the exponential family distributions now I'm going to discuss a couple of examples where uh, how to find these complete sufficient statistics using the definition. So this uh, first example is about binomial complete sufficient statistic. So let's say there is a, a statistic T which follows a binomial a family of distributions and there is a, f a function such that this expectation is equal to zero. So now in this example I am going to show you that uh, this expectation is equal to zero because this uh, the value of this function is equal to zero for all the values of p. So we can write this expectation as a, a summation of a g of t times by no, uh, the probability mass function of the binomial distribution. <laughs> And since uh, this expectation is equal to zero, we can have uh, zero is equal to expected value of this uh, function, which is equal to this summation. And you can see that in this summation, we have a term where, uh, which is a 1 minus p to the power n. So we can factor this uh, term outside of this summation because that is uh, independent of t. So now 
we can say that uh, 0 equal to uh, this term times a summation um, uh, of g of t times uh, this term. So now we can see that this uh, the the term that we took outside of this summation is not equal to zero because we know that this p is always between a zero and one. So if this expectation is equal to zero, that means the other term should be equal to zero. So now we are going to uh, look at this other term. So in this term, now we are going to define this p divided by 1 minus p as r. If that is the case, we can uh, rewrite this, uh, this final term with respect to r like this. So this is an equation of a, a polynomial of degree n in r. So the uh, coefficients of this polynomial is equal to g of t times n g of t. S uh, so in other words, if this expectation is equal to 0, each of these coefficients should be equal to 0. So when we consider these coefficients, this n choose t is uh, not equal to 0 because it is a uh, factorial value. Because of that, uh, g of t should be equal to uh, 0 for all t. Therefore, uh, we can say that this uh, probability of this g of t is equal to 0 is 1 for all p. Because of that, we can say that this t is a complete subject list. So now, in this example, you may understand that you may have understood that this expected value is equal to 0 because this g of t is equal to 0 for all the values of t. So if that is the case, we can say that this t is a complete sufficient statistic. Now I am going to discuss another example where uh, I am going to uh, disprove that this uh, family of distribution is, is complete. So now I have a discrete uh, family of probability uh, distribution where it has only three values x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, and x is equal to 2. So let's say there is a function such that expectation of that uh, function is equal to 0. So we can write this expectation as follows. So uh, since this is a, a, pro a discrete a property a distribution, a 0 is equal to a summation of a g of t times a probability of x equals t. So now we can expand this uh, uh, this summation. So that means when t is equal to 0, it is a g of 0 times probability of uh, x equal to 0 plus uh, g of 1 times probability of uh, x equal to 1, so on. And uh, then we can substitute these probability terms uh, with respect to the corresponding uh, p values based on this table. So, so we can write it as g of 0 times p plus g of 1 times a t of p plus g of 2 times 1 minus 4p equal to 0. And now we can uh, simplify this, e uh, this equation by just factoring out the terms where it has this p. So when we factor a factory of this p, we can write it as p times g of 0 plus 3 times 
g of 1 minus uh, 4 times uh, g of 2 plus g of 2 is equal to 0. So if uh, so in this in this last expression if this g of 2 is equal to 0 that means if this term is equal to 0 then then this other term this first term uh, sorry uh, this other term should be equal to 0 that implies what g0 plus a tree of uh, sorry a uh, tree times uh, g of 1 equal to 0 which implies uh, g of 0 is equal to 3 times uh, equal to negative uh, 3 times g of 1. So now we have a situation where this expected value is equal to 0 not because all the values of this uh, function g is equal to 0. So in this case this expected value is equal to 0 because g2 is equal to 0 and due to this relationship between g of 0 and g of 1. So expected uh, so because of this relationship uh, expected value of this uh, function is equal to 0 for all p uh, without g of 0 and g of 1 equals to 0. So in this case, let's say that this last term is equal to 0. If that is the case, then this uh, first term should be equal to 0. So in other words, this p times g of 0 plus 3 times g of 1 minus 4 times g of 2 equal to 0, which implies this g of 0 is equal to negative three, uh, 3 times uh, g of 1. So this means there is a situation that this expected value is equal to 0 because g2 is equal to 0 and this relationship due to this relationship. Therefore, we can say that this expected value is equal to 0 for all p without g of 0 and g of 1 equal to 0. So because of that we can we cannot have this uh, condition that means probability of g of t is equal to 0 is not equal to 1. Because of that this distribution is not complete. Let's look at uh, another example. So in this example also we have a discrete uh, family of distributions and uh, we are going to determine whether this uh, family of distributions is complete or not. So as, as previously, uh, so let's there is a function or uh, such that this expected value is equal to 0. So that means this summation is equal to 0. So that means if we expand this summation, uh, we can have this equation g of 0 times p plus g of 1 times p squared plus g of 2 times uh, this term is equal to 0. So if we uh, factor out the coefficients with respect to p and p squared, then we can have this formula. So this is an uh, equation of a polynomial of degree 2 in p. So to make it 0, uh, we need to uh, make all the coefficients of this polynomial to a 0. To do that, this uh, so this coefficients will be zero if and only if this terms is equal to zero 
identically. That means the probability of uh, this function equal to 0 for all values of t is equal to 1. Because of that, this distribution is, uh, is a complete distribution. So I hope these examples uh, uh, will uh, help you to understand this uh, complete of statistic really well. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, identify complete of statistics based on the exponential family property. Thank you.